Listen, baby, somebody thought they could duplicate, imitate, replicate. They thought that they just ate when it came to you. They thought they could imitate you and actually get the same results as you. Somebody believed if they showed up the way that you show up, if they talk like you, they dress like you, if they take on your mannerisms, that they will get the same results as you. These people, these individuals, they don't realize the blood, the sweat, the tears that you put in, the time that you sacrifice to get to where you are today. And even if you feel like you're not physically in a specific place, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you've grown. You've evolved. You're becoming. And people look at you, go through this transformation, go through this journey, go through your life, go through the process, go through the heartache, go through the trials and the tribulations. And because you make it look easy, they feel like they can do it too. They feel like they can do it too. Have you ever been sitting back just watching something, someone, TV, and you're looking and whatever these people, this specific person is doing, it looks easy? And so you, with your little crazy self, may think that you can do it too. Or maybe not even crazy. Maybe you're just optimistic. You believe you can do it. You hadn't trained. You have no kind of skill set when it comes to that particular thing. You don't know nothing about nothing. But because those people, that person made it look easy, you feel like you can do it too. That's what your life looks like to some people. Even if they know you're struggling, when you show up, baby, you look well put together. You look groomed. You got a smile. Your hair combed. You look fresh. You clean. Your clothes clean. Even though they know you stand in the shelter, even though they know you're living in your car, even though they know they done talked about your mystery, you told you they you couldn't stay there, they didn't have the money for you, whatever it may be, they know they could have helped you get the job and they didn't. They know what they've done and how they could have helped and how they didn't help. But yet when they see you, you look the total opposite, baby. You look like you've been cleaned up, dressed up, touched by the most high. Because you have. Even if you're not doing so well behind the scenes, you make it look easy. God has given you such a strength and a determination about yourself, a grit. Y'all, this is something that has not just happened for you. You've learned how to maneuver throughout life. God has taught you how to get yourself up and to keep moving over all the obstacles, the trials, the tribulations, the foolishness, the pettiness, the snakes, the haters, the naysayers, the doubters. God has taught you how to pick yourself up over all the chaos and drama. And some people got it mixed up right now. They, they real confused. About who you are. About who you are. They don't know the story. Behind you. The story behind. You know you getting up every single day. They don't know. They don't know. And so then with their superficial minds. With their shallow minds. Looking at you from the outside. Playing games, doing tit for tat, thinking that it's a competition, doing all these things. Meanwhile, you just trying to stay above water. You just trying to make sure your bills get paid. You just trying to make sure you and yours are fed, healing, growing. And I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, but sometimes people just look at those that are strong and they feel like you don't need anything. I mean, it's not even about being chosen right here, y'all. This is simply about being a human being. Some people just lack that. They lack that. They walking around in this flesh, but they don't even, they don't exist, y'all. They're empty souls. And we have to know it and see it for what it is. 
Know it and see it for what it is. You're pouring into a bottomless cup. And I'm not saying that to be mean or talk about people. No, I'm saying don't waste your time going back and forth with people. Don't waste your time arguing. Don't waste your time trying to prove nothing. Don't waste your time com competing with people. Because they have no clue. All they want is your attention. All they want is to derail you. All they want is to knock you off track. Get your focus so that you don't continue to move forward. So that you don't continue to move forward. They see you moving around, making moves, doing all these different things, but they don't know how and what you're doing to get there. And some of them will write you off and say you're doing demonic things. Anytime God blesses outside of what people are used to, they automatically write you off and say you're demonic. Because they don't have the knowledge or the courage or the audacity to put away all the childish things and they actually follow the Most High or believe in something beyond themselves. They're so self-centered that all they can think about is themselves. And so to see you believe in something outside of you, to see you Encourage other people, give to other people, whatever it is you're doing in your personal lives. When people see you operate the way that you operate, A, it looks like it's easy, but B, they see you doing it constantly. And so they believe they could do it. They believe they can do it, but they don't know that you've been anointed by God to do what you do, to carry your load. Everybody can't carry that load. The weight is too heavy. The weight is too heavy. But they got it confused. Some people still confused. Because they keep watching you. And you make it look easy. And so they feel like if they duplicate, they imitate, they replicate, they do all these things, they can get the same results oh but they finding out slowly but surely that that's not the truth that it's going to actually take some effort oh you're gonna have to actually go through them some things god gotta break you down build you back up the same way he had to do you they gotta go through it too and that's the thing everybody don't want to go through it and so when you start saying you chosen and you throw around these words, they get mad at you. Thinking that you just want to be so special. You think you better. You think you special, but it's not. You've literally had to go through some things and you're going through some things. It's not something you just woke up and said, I want to be chosen. No. God is taking some of us through the ringer. Let's keep it real, y'all. We always say, God won't do that. We blame God for this and this and this. God will take off and remove anything he needs to. And sometimes, y'all, that's painful. That's painful. It's not to harm us, to hurt us. We always make it through. Always. We always make it through. And you're going to make it through. If that's your story right now, you're going to make it through. Just think about all the things you've been through prior to this. What's happening right now? You're still standing. You're still here. You're listening to this. You're still encouraged. If you hadn't given it up, if you was done and all of that, you wouldn't be listening to this message. But you're still keeping the faith. You're still showing up. You're still grinding. You're still trusting. You're still believing. That takes a lot, y'all. When you got a bunch of chaos and foolishness and people, all this stuff going on around you, the news feeding you all this tragic stuff, for you to show up the way that you've been showing up so real, so raw, so authentic, still with a smile, with a positive attitude, with a loving heart, spirit, that's a lot. That takes a lot. Y'all just look at this chaotic world around us. Everybody's talking about inflation. People don't have nowhere to stay, nothing to eat. That's the reality of it, y'all. If you look around, it is. But it don't have to be your reality. And some of you show up like that. When you show up like that, people are confused by it. 
because it's so much chaotic things and so much they doing to you and saying to you. But when you groom yourself in such a way and not that you're putting on a facade, God has just taught you how to show up and is teaching you how to show up. That's overcoming the obstacles, the enemy. Y'all, that's what this channel is about. I tell y'all all the time. That's what this channel is about. Coming up out of the pit, the stronghold of people, places, and things. So even if you're still figuring it out, even if behind the scenes you're wiping the tears, even if you're trying to figure out how to pay your bills, when you step out on the scenes, baby love, you look strong. You look well. You look healthy. And that's not trying to pretend. That's not trying to make anybody think anything. No. God has literally taught you how to pick yourself up from the pieces. We don't realize that when we're going through those things, y'all. How much is teaching us, strengthening us. And people are mad by those very things. It's not about what you possess. It's about who you are, your character. How you keep showing up, your determination, your strength. The very things that God has taught you. The things that cannot be bought. Those are the things that they're competing with. They think they can duplicate, imitate. But they can't. And somebody, some people is finding that out now. That your strength is on another level. Your grind is on another level. Your love is on another level. Your genuineness, your forgiveness, all of that is on another level. It takes a strong person to be so forgiving to people that has done them wrong. It does, y'all. And you're doing that. You constantly do that. Time after time, relationship after relationship, job after job. And every single time, people see you do better and better and better. It's like you get knocked down to the pit, to the bottom of the barrel. And when you rise back up, baby, it's even better. You're even brighter. The light is shining even more. People don't realize that. That their win is short-lived. They may knock you down a peg or two, but baby, when you rise, oh, they wish they never would have touched you. Never would have said anything to you. Because they don't really realize what you possess, who you're walking with. You may look like you're alone, but baby, you've got a whole entourage with you. A spiritual team with you that's ready to go to war. Even if you're not, they are always. So that's why you don't have to fight sometimes. You can just stand there. You can just sit there. You can just keep your mouth closed and let them fight for you. Let God fight for you. Let your spiritual team fight for you. That's who the battle's with anyway. When people come against you, they're not battling against you. They battling against, they battling against your spiritual team, against the spiritual realm. And that's why they can't keep up with you. That is why they duplicate and imitate and cannot do what you do. You make it look easy because of who you walk with, the spirit within you. Oh, but they finding that out. They finding that out, sweetheart. Listen, I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank you for your PayPals, your cash apps, your super thanks, your thumbs up, your love, your support. Continuing to show up each and every single time that I show up. Those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to the Walkery channel. Over here is all gas, no brakes. We're putting our foot on the enemy's neck and we're not letting up. Those of you that are returning, y'all already know. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank you for your comments, y'all. Just pouring into my cup, your thumbs up, showing up. I just can't get enough of that. I am truly now, y'all, in a space, in a place where I'm so grateful for y'all. It's not like I hadn't been grateful, but lately, y'all, I just feel like 
these are my people. Like, the, those are the words that just pop up in my mind randomly. Like, these are my people. These are my people. And it's not just like, these are my people. It's such a gratitude and a love behind it. And I'm sharing this with y'all because sometimes I be so mushy. But y'all have allowed me to be mushy and y'all receive it. Y'all accept it. Y'all love me for me. And I just love that. I love that for me. I love that for y'all. Because all I want to do is just love on y'all. And the fact that y'all just take it, take it, take it. And y'all give, give, give. I love it. I love it so much. Please know that. I love y'all. And until next time, y'all be easy. Peace.